Hi everyone, happy Monday, welcome to Body Empowerment. For today's episode, I want to spark a discussion. I say this all the time, but this time I really mean it. Here in the United States today, it is Labor Day, and Labor Day is a national holiday, and that has me thinking all about my nationality and my experience as an American, specifically with regards to my body. So I'm not sure how much everyone here and abroad is watching the news and the um, the upcoming presidential election here in the United States. But there is a lot of talk about the body and ownership of the body and who um, and how um, the government is and is not allowed to have ownership of our bodies and what parts of our bodies, um, whether it's with regards to gender, sexual orientation, class, race, other demographics, and whether that is subtle or overt and blatant, um, all these things are on a massive spectrum. But regardless, it has me thinking very much about um, ownership of body within the context of nationality, government, um, citizenship. And so for today's episode, I want to pass these thoughts along to you whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, whether you're in the United States or in another country somewhere in this incredible and massive and large world. And please send in your comments, your stories, your video responses. What is your experience right now, wherever you are, with regards to owning your body and, um, and where you live? And do you feel that that is threatened already? Do you feel it may be threat threatened? Has it been threatened in the past and now it's not? Um, because I feel like we should be having a massive dialogue around the world with regards to this because it is one thing to be empowered within our own bodies and it is another thing when our empowerment and our incredible work of self-love is compromised by where we live. So please share your thoughts Happy Monday to everyone worldwide. Happy Labor Day to those in the United States. And happy body empowerment because it is when we empower ourselves, our voices, our, our everything that, um, well, that we maintain and sustain ownership of ourselves.